the Democratic Alliance has marched to Parliament in Cape Town to protest against the recently amended Employment Equity Act. The party accuses the ANC government of racially excluding certain people from job opportunities and dictating where people should work. But the ANC is hit back as the ANCA's Nobisuto Hejano reports. About 500 DA members, including supporters, took to Cape Town streets against the Employment Equity Act. They accused the ANC-led government of signing race-based policies into law that exclude qualifying people for the benefit of a select few. The bill sets out to transform the country's workforce through equity targets. One of its provisions allows for the Labour Minister to set regional targets based on racial diversity. But DA leader John Steenhazen says the ANC wants to use it to further what he calls its corruption tendencies. The other big lie that the ANC is spreading out there is that this act is designed to empower black South Africans. Just like they promised that BEE would be broad-based and empower black South Africans, when all it's done is make a small group of people very, very rich. We've got a president who's going to buy buffalo for millions of rands. Many of the president's buffalo are worth more than the houses that you live in. This is skanda. Who can it be us? Al Jama says people shouldn't necessarily be racially profiled for jobs. So Al Jama's position is quite clear that we reject the uh, INC's uh, uh, formulation to bring about affirmative action. Uh, Al Jama feels that uh, quotas is fine, but it should only be between blacks and whites, and that blacks should include Indians and coloreds. In return, the ANC accuses the DA of holding a misguided protest march. Let's talk about the DA um, uh, uh, sort of uh, performance here in the province. I mean, if you look at um, the Western Cape uh, departments, uh, just uh, recently, in the last uh, annual report of the provincial treasury, just as an example, you would see that um, in the provincial treasury, we are sitting now with three white males at senior management level. And one of the recent observations that we have been seeing, and I said in the economic cluster in the main, is that we're seeing a trend that uh, in senior management positions, women across board, but particularly black women, uh, including colored women, you know, you would find that there is less representation. I mean, as a person who is a member of that standing committee, even in entities, we will be calling for more um, a, a, a representation of women. Kosato says it's disappointed at the DA, explaining that while the law has existed for nearly three decades, the party has never fought it until now. So I think for us, we're confident, um, but we do recognize it's a very sensitive issue, and hence we're a little bit dis dis disappointed when we see the DA march into Parliament, when they should rather be engaging with employers, with trade unions, with the Department of Labor, about how can we walk on this journey together, because at the end of the day, um, South Africa is big enough to accommodate everybody who lives in it. The DA says it will approach the courts soon in its fight against the act. Nobesutu Echana, Cape Town.